Hi, digital electronics and flip-flop conversions and another important uh, um, pair of conversions. It's like D flip-flop to JK flip-flop. So one have to interpret that which flip-flop is available and which flip-flop is the destination flip-flop that flip-flop to be converted all right in this case d flip-flop is available and jk flip-flop is the destination uh, flip-flop which has to be converted and a single input flip-flop with the two input should be converted to a two input flip-flop so something comes in between a combinational circuit comes in between making use of gates and that which what is that arrangement is decided by the truth table excitation table etc of the uh, flip-flops which are discussing um, suggested to learn the truth tables and excitation tables of all the um, uh, flip-flops which will be very helpful in conversion process and in registers and counters also while, while constructing um, those circuits also all right so in that case <clears throat> and the true uh, the tabular form is standard for whatever the conversion whatever the flip-flop conversion first half we have the truth table extended truth table of the um, what is that destination flip-flop and on the other hand uh, we need to have the excitation table of the available flip-flop let's see if how that is extended like make the truth table is extended to uh, some uh, within other columns so what comes in between let's check all right so the truth table of a jk flip-flop and checking for the next state q of uh, q of n present state and checking for the next state q of n plus one all right and uh, zero zero no change zero 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 no change condition in the sense uh, if the present state is zero even the next state also will be zero 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 no change condition similar to the sr flip flop if the present state is one even the next state also will be one all right zero one very much similar to the reset condition of a SR flip-flop in the sense the output will be 0 0 1 again the same combination even if the even if the present state is 1 the next state will be 0 in the same way 1 0 even if the present state is 0 the next state will be forced to 1 1 it will continue with a 1 all right now this one you have to be careful with this combination when you talk about jk flip-flop that invalid state which is sr flip-flop which is eliminated making use of jk uh, that feedback arrangements all right so one one and one one again what if uh, what will be the next state if we have zero and what will be the next state if we have one as present state uh, one one j equal to k equal to one as soon as the clock pulse is given uh, the present state being zero the next state will be toggling flipping to one make sure this one and for the for the same combination when j equal to k equal to one as soon as a clock pulse is given if the present state is one this will flip to uh, this will toggle to zero uh, toggling between zero and ones up and downs all right so this one so this is the extended truth table for a jk flip flop what to do next what values comes over here in this column now for the time being you don't need to bother this all right uh, close away to avoid confusion close this uh, two columns um, now we have to extend the this tabular form with the help of that uh, excitation table of the given flip flop here i already have the excitation of the uh, d flip flop which is the given flip flop how it is uh, whatever the combinations may be the uh, the d input is d input and the next state are same d input and the next state are same in the for the excitation table of d flip flop the next state and the input are same next state and the input is same next state and the input is same next state and the in input is same for d flip flop as far as excitation table is concerned all right so <clears throat> um to table of the destination flip flop and close this away extending the tabular form with the excitation table of the given available flip flop all right so we will we will be having d d values d inputs over here so 0 0 whatever as i have told you right now the next state and d will be same in the sense it will be 0 from the uh, excitation table the reality from the excitation table all right 1 1 i mean next state is 1 so input is also 1 0 0 okay check this one 0 0 0 0 0 all right 1 0 i mean not that facility we have in the d flip flop um, 
I mean the next state and the D should be I mean uh, for the next state to be 0 the input should be 0 for the next state to be 1 the input should be 1 for the next state to be 1 the input D input should be 1 or oh, let's check 1 1 1 1 it's a 1 and 0 1 it's a 1 0 1 it's a 1 and 0 1 again so I'm not bothered about this one uh, in that D flip flop the thing is the next state and D input should be same so 1 1 we have a 1 over here and 0 1 0 it should be 0 1 0 and 1 0 it's a 0 D input and the next state are same right so we are done with the tabular form which will be helping us to construct a K map and reduce using the K map and that equation which the D input has in terms of J K and Q N all right as soon as this tabular form is constructed uh, suggested to erase this away we don't need these values we don't need these values we need to express d we need to express d in terms of j k q n and construct the combinational circuit all right so here one two three variable k map d in terms of j k q n so we will be in need of uh, uh, three variable k map three variables isn't it three variable k map and this map all right and uh, j over this side k q uh, q n over this side so this is 0 and this is 1 saying that it's this will be j bar this one this 0 so this j bar j bar and this will be j oh that side what combination do we have 0 0 indicating k bar q n bar 0 1 continuation 1 1 and 1 0 like that all right so now check we'll have to check uh, what values for what combination of jkqn the d value is one just plugging in that once and we don't have don't care in this case straight away plugging in once over there zero to uh, we are avoiding zero to avoid the confusion all right that's it and uh, we have a one over here let me take it we have a one for what combination of jkqn zero zero one so zero from this side and 0 1 0 1 so we have a 1 over here we are done with that one uh, another one at this position 1 0 0 j equal to 1 k equal to 0 q n equal to 0 j equal to 1 1 0 0 1 1 from this side and 0 0 from that side we have a 1 over here right so another one another one at this place what combination of j k q n 1 0 1 all right 1 0 1 1 from this side 0 1 from that side and so this here we have 1 um, we have another still one more one left over for what combination 1 1 and 0 1 1 and 0 we have 1 over here the rest are 0 so let's avoid confusion so let's avoid zeros all right so in that case so guys we are trying to express we are find out, we are trying to find out d input in terms of uh, uh, j k q n so as soon as that procedure what to do so as soon as we construct a k map find trying to find out quads and pairs isn't it in this case we don't have a quad all right we don't have a quad there are two pairs this one is here this one this this is a one pair plus this one this is another pair so d in terms of uh, this pair plus this pair all right so uh, what is left over from this one this pair uh, what information like we are trying to evaluate for j k q n isn't it q n so what information do we have from this cell it's a zero zero one what information do we have from this cell it's a 1 0 1 1 0 and 1 um, here j is changing so that will be reduced all right we don't have this anymore in that combination and so it will be finally reduced to k bar why because it's 0 dot q n and operation between k bar and q n all right so d what is that we are trying to evaluate for d which is equal to something plus something where did we get how can we say that something plus something we have one pair it's sum of products some term from this pair 
plus some term comes over here plus some leftover term from this pair. So that's what I have written in that way. So this says d equal to um, k bar k bar q n from one pair. So what will be what do we have what will we have from the other pair here uh, once again j k q n all right <clears throat> here what information do we have from this cell it's a 1 0 0 from this one what information do we have from here it's a 1 1 0 in this uh, like uh, the final re reduced form k is changing so that will be reduced redundant something they say all right uh, minimization this gets reduced this doesn't exist anymore and so it's 1 1 so it's a j it's a 0 0 so it's a q n bar in the sense this will be over here all right j q n bar now done we can construct um, that conversion converted flip-flop making use of that equation we don't need this anymore once that we have this characteristic equation all right so making use of that equation we can construct which which flip-flop is given now available is d here you start with the given flip-flop all right so he input is d and we have that output q n over here and that the complement of that q n uh, being q n bar over here all right so to be this d to be converted to j k right j k so let's say that j is over here j input and uh, k is somewhere else here k is somewhere else here uh, how to show this one how to show this one this and a and operation between j and q n bar where is that j here we have that j where is that q n bar uh, take a wire connection from here all right take a wire connection from here take a wire connection from here there's an overlap be careful there is an overlap take that signal from over here and here all right so giving this to a and gate and gate the output will be j q n bar all right so that's it on the other hand we need this one k bar but we have k and if this is passed made to pass through a not gate the output would be k bar k bar all right so we have k bar here that is to be ended with q n isn't it that should be ended with q n so here take a wire from wire connection from q n there is a overlap over here there is a overlap over here and if yeah and operation between k bar over here and q n from that side and operation over here okay and operation from here which gives k bar q n we have this we have this so how to obtain this one how to obtain this one or operation so introducing an or gate in between all right or gate in between or gate here or gate the output is connecting that one to output is so finally at this point we have j, this one plus okay let me write it again to avoid confusion so at this point the output is j q n bar plus k bar q n which is equal to d that itself and something is missing what is missing clock pulse as it is there is an overlap all right clock pulse clock and this is the final conversion uh, d flip-flop to jk flip-flop thanks for watching